let's talk about some benefits of carrots. Uh, I haven't done a lot of videos on carrots. Um, there are some people that will say that carrots are not good on the ketogenic diet. Well, carrot juice is definitely not good on the ketogenic diet, but yes, it is high in the glycemic index. Okay, it's like 91. And the glycemic index is how fast a carbohydrate can spike your blood sugars. But don't neglect something called a glycemic load. Okay, that's different than the glycemic index. The glycemic load is the concentration of carbohydrates. And so it factors in the fiber. So if the glycemic load is high, that means you have uh, very little fiber and lots of carbohydrate that can affect your blood sugars. But if the glycemic load is low, we have a lot of fiber, but it can help buffer the glycemic index, which is the spike of that sugar. So even though a carrot has a glycemic index of 91, it has a glycemic load of just one. So if you consume carrots, it's not going to spike your blood sugars too much, especially if you don't overdo it. So a lot of that carbohydrate in carrot is fiber, which is not going to have the effect of spiking insulin. So if we combine the fiber in carrot with the glycemic index of the sugar, it buffers it out to make it uh, pretty low and keto friendly. I wouldn't actually worry about consuming carrots if you're on the ketogenic diet, if you have just a moderate amount. Now, when we talk about um, vitamin A, um, there's the active form of vitamin A called retinol, and then there's the inactive form of vitamin A, okay? Like, uh, that's part of the carotenoids that have to turn into retinol. And so when people say that, oh, I'm gonna consume some vitamin A from carrots to help me see in the dark better, it's probably not gonna happen because the amount of retinol in uh, carrots and 100 grams is like 852 micrograms, okay? Very, very small amounts. If we compare that to 100 grams of beef liver that has 7,700 micrograms, we can see that there's a huge difference. And also the point of the conversion when you have inactive vitamin A to active vitamin A, it takes a lot of inactive to make a very small amount of active. So with a conversion of carrots, it takes like between three to 28 times the amount of this raw material, carotenoids, to be converted into the active form. That is all dependent on your zinc status, your thyroid function. If you have a low thyroid, uh, you're not gonna convert that well. Uh, how healthy your liver is, if you have enough bile, and also your absorption. If you have malabsorption in your gut, you're not gonna be able to convert hardly anything, okay? However, the carotenoids like beta carotene and lutein in carrots have some other very cool properties that go beyond just supporting vision or seeing in the dark. Carotenoids from carrots can greatly inhibit the formation of developing a fatty liver. So they can inhibit fat being deposited in the liver as well as reduce the fat on the liver directly. And I'm talking about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, okay? That's a type of fatty liver that comes from, you know, consuming too many carbohydrates. All right, carotenoids also can reduce liver inflammation, which means they can also reduce the formation of fibrosis and inhibit um, cirrhosis of the liver. Now, carotenoids also inhibit insulin resistance. When we know what that does, that actually creates a fatty liver in the first place and also uh, creates kind of like a pre-diabetic situation. Carotenoids can help you uh, increase bile production and bile flow through the liver. This is why carrots and beets, by the way, are really good for the liver. Carrots have anti-cancer properties. Carrots are really good to support the eye, not necessarily in vision, but by protecting against glaucoma and cataracts. So don't be afraid to have some carrots in your diet if you're on keto. Just make sure they're a moderate amount because they can actually do some really cool things to your body. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.